This is question 37. College Board gives us a frequency distribution and asks for the difference in medians for these scores. The frequency distribution tells us in group A, one person scored a 2, one scored a 3, two people scored a 4, one scored a 5, three scored a 6, and one scored a 9. Make sure you understand how to read frequency distributions because College Board does ask them from time to time. So the median score will be the middle score when sorted smallest to largest. These are sorted smallest to largest here. So the middle score of these nine would be one, two, three, four, five. The fifth from the bottom, or one, three is four, five from the top also. So the median for A is five. The median for B, we have 11 scores. So that's number six from the top, four, five, six, or number six from the bottom. I'm sorry, that's number six from the bottom. Number six from the top is two, three, four, five. Number six and seven are in here, so that's the median. And the difference, B has a median of six, which is one greater than the median for five. I'm sorry, the median for A. How much greater is the median for B than the median for A it would be six minus five equals one. The trick here, of course, is understanding how to read the frequency distribution and remembering that the median is the middle number when they're sorted smallest to largest. You're not looking for the median of the entries in the column for group A. You're looking for the median of these scores when this is how many times each score occurred. You could also write it as group A has a two, a three, two fours, and a five, and then three sixes, and a nine. If you cross out the two bottom scores, the two top scores, two more bottom and two more top, your median is the middle score that's left. So if you have difficulty with frequency distributions, you can write them out as regular distributions, sort them smallest to largest, and find the median in that manner. In any case, College Board frequently asks about mean or median or both, so make sure you're comfortable with them and get a lot of practice before your SAT. And come back soon with my next video. With math, there's always more.